So originally this started back in 2018 when some Middle Eastern dude, I think his name was Salim, commented on my channel that if I ate animal testicles, I would grow a beard. And obviously that hasn't precisely happened. At that time, I was fairly averse to this wacko daco suggestion. However, as some of you know, I sell a testicle powder supplement on organ supplements. So my thoughts have changed throughout the past two years. And I think Salim was right. Since we ran out of that supplement on organ supplements, I actually got some lamb and goat testicles on Frankie's free range meat. And I do prefer using the actual raw organs as opposed to freeze dried supplements myself, but I think the supplements are more for people that just don't want the inconvenience or taste of eating said organs every day. You know, plus you do save a lot on prep time. In February of 2019, I did a sort of joke video where I had a fake beard and spoke about my testosterone rising because I rubbed vitamin D3 on my balls and consumed high zinc foods. And that was part of the picture, but I didn't tell you guys I was eating testicles at the time and that likely played a major role. Some of you in the comments might be thinking, Frank, we know you love balls. And you know, it's too bad that neither of you or anyone on this planet can prove that. So have fun fantasizing. If you do want to understand hormones and the nutrients you can use to boost them, as well as a little bit of what I'm talking about today, you can also check out my hormone video I did several months back. The focus today is the bioactive properties like testosterone for men and estradiol, aka estrogen for women, that are contained in the sexual organs of animals. As we spoke about in the hormone video, Precursor nutrients are needed for creation, especially cholesterol. That's why, you know, vegan hormones get so out of whack, but you can use certain foods as a boost, almost like a bodybuilder who takes steroids for muscle growth or a female takes estrogen for enhanced feminine features. And a good analogy for that is, yeah, you have to eat protein to build muscle, but the steroids testosterone add an extra impact for that. Just like you need cholesterol, to make testosterone, the beef testicles are adding a boost to that. The majority of testosterone in the body is produced in the testicles for males, and for females, the estrogen is produced in the ovaries. Not only that, the organs have vitamins and minerals conducive to hormone synthesis, such as zinc, copper, vitamin A, and very high amounts in the sexual organs. Now, to my understanding, females don't need to do this as badly as men do because there's so much estrogen in our water supply, food supply, plastics, even receipt papers are filled with estrogenic endocrine inhibitors. Although I do think that is an unnatural form of estrogen, you know, I'm not saying that females aren't going to benefit from doing this, my point is that men are in a far worse position in regards to hormone imbalance because of all that estrogen in our food and water supply. So we know there are hormones in the ovaries and the testicles. Therefore, if we consume those organs from an animal, it appears that there are bioactive factors that work in the body that replicate the testosterone we produce. I consumed a fairly small amount of testicles on a fairly regular basis. This is, it sounds so stupid. Over the course of several months that shot my testosterone up from the low hundreds to over 1000. And I believe this is something that can be replicated for the majority of the male population. Speaking of testicle jokes, if one of you guys can come up with like a motto or something funny that we can constantly reference in this video. I don't have in-depth data on this. All I have is a few blood tests taken before, during, and after I was consuming the testicles on a fairly frequent basis for several months. What that means is we don't know the minimum and maximum effect of dose and frequency. We don't know if there are diminishing returns and we don't know if this is something that needs to be done temporarily or permanently. If you want to see the blood work results, that was in the video I did with the fake beard. Here I have a lamb testicle and this is about as big as they get on the lamb and goats. On the cattle, they will get you know up to twice as big as this and I'm sure those grain fed steer have, uh, oh well no, they actually had their balls cut off so never mind. But 
these always come frozen and it's a bit of an odd market for meat as it's considered a waste product in many places but for some reason in the united states they're not exactly dirt cheap or easy to find uh, for females you actually want uh, fish eggs those are very easily accessible uh, this is some salmon roe uh, we have it available much more affordably on frankie's free range meat and this is way more enjoyable and easier to deal with than the testicles uh, these will stay good for three to four days in the fridge max uh, the meat starts kind of fermenting and getting a bit funky uh, so you can still eat it but it will have a strong pungent flavor and scare away anyone that opens your refrigerator uh, this is important to know so you know how many of these to take out on a frequent basis if you want to consume your balls daily uh, the average size testicle like this uh, would probably last like four to five days uh, sometimes if it's really really small maybe two or three days and a larger one maybe six days the caviar is salted so it'll last three to four weeks in the fridge and all you really have to do is have a tablespoon of it every day much more convenient than chopping up and weighing the testicles that being said both males and females can benefit from consuming the opposite sex's organs you know it takes a lot of stress off of your body actually producing them and it's not something you should necessarily do every day but it will benefit natural hormone balance for a male to consume fish eggs and for a female to consume testicles and i would argue that fish eggs are more beneficial reason being that women need more nutrients for the health of the child for fertility therefore more nutrition is stored in fish eggs and those foods that you know our ancestors fed to females for fertility tend to be so so nutritious so high in vitamins minerals and fatty acids you know when you compare the nutrient profile of fish eggs to testicles it's not even close the fish eggs literally have every single vitamin mineral your body needs with incredible amounts of omega-3 fatty acids whereas the testicles just have some vitamin a b vitamins and a lot of zinc uh, it correlates to the health of the sperm so let me show you guys how i prep this so when you get the testicle there's usually a layer of skin on the outside and you can find that out by scoring it in this case there is no layer of skin on the outside oh well you can see it here but it's only covering half of the testicle this one is a bit less protective and on frankie's free range meat we made pretty sure that all of them still had the skin on so they do have that protective layer this is the epididymis uh, which you don't necessarily want to cut off you do want to eat that as there's apparently you know a higher testosterone content in there so what i'll do is i'll take about you know two tablespoons worth of the testicle like that and then i'll chop this up as finely as i can okay so here you go here you see here you see the skin a little bit easier this is the the skin and we just want to chop that off you can eat this if you want but it's you know you kind of have to swallow it down and by all means you know you should probably use your food processor if you want to do this every day because this is not exactly something that's you know tender so i used to just take a spoon and swallow this down which is kind of gross uh, now i like using raw milk uh, you could even do a milkshake or a smoothie of some sort if you're not that strict of a carnivore put some honey in there vanilla maybe some raw local ice cream and it'll be disguised fairly well as raw meat has a mild flavor and this is a pretty small amount i mixed beef testicle powder which is much more pungent than this raw uh, testicle into a milkshake the other week and i didn't taste the powder that much it, it tasted pretty good uh, just make sure to add a decent amount of honey and some flavorings uh, so don't just jump into this full steam ahead and start eating a whole testicle every day uh, you definitely want to get some blood work before during after uh, see if you're getting insomnia if you're having sleeping issues definitely taper off this take a lot more copper i actually haven't been doing this throughout my bodybuilding transformation i wish i could have but this seems to make the iron overload worse and i can't sleep if i eat this uh, oh one other idea i had was you know take some whey protein and make a shake with that in the morning so you know we have whey on frankie's free range meat as well and you can mix that with some vanilla honey whey protein this would be like the ultimate bodybuilding shake like a whey protein shake with raw testicles like you probably grow biceps without even working out so hopefully you guys try this out i'd really love it if we could get some data on this if you guys could record you know the weight in grams of 
how many testicles you consumed on a daily or weekly basis, uh, what your testosterone levels were before, during, and after, you know, what happened if you tapered off of this. I think we can collect some really good data and see that this might be the best natural way to boost your testosterone. So uh, hopefully I can start doing this again soon when I start sleeping and feeling better. Uh, maybe I should just do it anyway for a little bit and uh, see where my testosterone goes, do some experiments. Check out Frankie's Free Range Meat down in the description below, as well as the other ways you guys can support me. And again, check out those other videos I mentioned if you want to know all the specific details about this. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.